the nutrients, whether it is uh, your carbohydrate, whether it is your protein, whether it is your fat, uh, sugars, oil, everything. Now, this is one thing everybody says, what is moderation? Uh, uh, people come to us and they say that we are having the stuff, but major concern which is here now in the uh, in healthy nutrition is the moderation. Uh, it's not if you really feel like having paratha once a week. Uh, basically, I won't stop you from having paratha once in a week because if you are having paratha in the breakfast along with your healthy uh, lunch and your dinner, it hardly matters for me. Um, but there are many people if they are having paratha once in a week, but their lunch and dinner are uh, basically of uh, fast foods or their puris and their lunches uh, made up of uh, like uh, your maida products and everything. In that sense, yes, uh, one time even paratha can harm. But otherwise, if uh, you are in the hospital, uh, when we are seeing the uh, major uh, preventive health checkups here, the many problems like prevalent problems which we are facing are obesity, uh, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, but the prevalent one is basically obesity. Uh, now, uh, this could vary from age to age. We have seen uh, from 5 to 15 years also, and even 15 to 25, and the list go on. Uh, go on. Uh, basically, the health checkups are taken by the corporate uh, people. So, uh, there are many things which uh, basically we see is the shift timings. Basically, because of the shift timings, there are at times that these people are even missing their breakfast also. But this we all must understand that breakfast is basically a jump start of your metabolism. So, one should never lose, uh, means never uh, leave the breakfast. Uh, there are many people which we come across and if we really see their uh, lifestyle, basically what we are seeing in that is they are more into the junks just because they are working in the corporates, they don't get time to have their meals, they are at times very busy, the schedule is so busy that they don't even get something to eat or anything of that kind. But ultimately if we see there are at times lack of knowledge also, it's not necessary to go on for pizza every time or something like this. We eat pizza or something like this with the group because we in a society have to go with the society. So it's not necessary every time to have pizza along with everyone to have a whole pizza. If you really want to have pizza, just have it a slice just to give the taste or if you are socially uh, sitting somewhere. Rather than, I don't think so that we can't get our tiffins from our home or at least one or two whole foods from our home or salad cut in a box from our home. Uh, there are many other options also. Roasted chana, one of the best thing I think. Right? Rather than going for biscuits every time, means there are many people I've come across who go for biscuits like two or three times. They are just having biscuits just because to fill up their stomach. But yes, they are also made up of sugars, uh, their mana and oil and everything. So they are much more high in calories rather than sticking to biscuits and everything like uh, wafers and pizzas and uh, samosas. I think a person should move on to fruits or salads or I think uh, roasted chana or food from home. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many other things like which we also see here. Uh, many people here they don't even have time for breakfast as I said. But I don't think so. It takes more than two minutes also. Just going for a whole wheat uh, breakfast like a person can even go for cornflakes also. A person can go for oats also. One glass of milk. Nowadays many people are Take care, fine. They are uh, in their um, uh, shifts and everything, but usually they they, they are like they they have their uh, breakfast around 10, 10, 30, 11. But the breakfast timings are eight or nine. Okay. After that, they should be small and frequent. It's lunch everybody is having, no doubt. Lunch everybody is having because they are in the office. They are having their lunch properly. But still, again, dinner is something which they are missing. Or if they are having their dinner, that is around 9 or 10 or 10, 30 or 11 or even 1 also. So that is one thing a person should work on. This is all in their hand. We all are working. We all are working very hard. Every one of us are working. But I think if we really think of the thing, things that, uh, uh, that uh, like diet is one of the things, if we go accordingly, things can be managed very easily. Just two helpings or two or three helpings of fruit a day in between your meals, like around 10, 30, 11. This is the time when many of the corporate people 
or many of the housewife or many of other uh, people which has uh, went through, they just uh, go out and they just have biscuits or they'll have samosas just because it's been a long time, it's been three, four hours, now they're feeling hungry and they'll have samosa there. Samosa and a cup of tea. Rather than going for a samosa and a cup of tea, I think it, it should be better that a person should go for a food. Uh, lunch timing is proper. Lunch, proper uh, lunch should be there. It should have a cereal, like one, any of the cereal with the rice or whether it should be chapati, there should be any of the pulse, any of the dal you can take as a protein source, uh, there should be any of the vegetable, if salad is provided you can go for salad also, curd, of course you should go for curd, uh, around evening many of the people along with tea again they will have biscuits or they will have some papers or they will have something like this, I think better option is tea along with your roasted chana, roasted chana everybody, any any one of uh, the person can keep uh, keep it in their drawers or like this in the box they can have roasted chana along with it uh, moving around, uh, ahead around six o'clock i must say again they can have a fruit two fruits carrying a day along with you in your bag is not a big deal this is something which is at least if if they are not giving you that much of calories and protein but they are giving you more of antioxidants more of fibers which are somewhere uh, somewhere responsible for uh, your weight loss, for your uh, cardiovascular problems and diabetes to come down and also there are uh, means uh, basically of the antioxidants they, uh, they reduce your free radicals which are somewhere responsible for all these diseases that is why foods and salads are being considered very good. There are like sprouts also are the best options you can even get sprouts from your home. Many other options like this you can get it from home. Milk of course in the night again if in the morning also in the night also but again it should be seen that it should be double too because it just it, it is just giving you saturated fat otherwise so apart from that because in the whole day you can't live without fat also the food you are with, with the food you are eating is already cooked in fat so it's always uh, better to avoid the extra fat uh, extra fat is just in all these things only so you should avoid all these things it will Kaushik Yudhavedi and I am Senior Consultant of Stephanie and Gynecology at Max Hospital Gurugam. Uh, today let's talk about preventive uh, health checkup and what is the importance of that in preventing gynecological diseases. The whole idea of preventive health checkup is to prevent the disease before the condition has actually arisen. So please don't wait till the symptoms have started to happen. Visit a gynecologist before the disease hits you. Now, what will a doctor do when you visit the doctor? The most important part of any uh, visit with your consultant is a detailed history. The doctor will take a detailed history from you to see out if there are any factors which can be complicating your health or if there are already any issues which are complicating your health. Once a detailed history has been taken, a thorough physical examination is done by the gynecologist. In gynecology, usually it uh, involves examining your abdomen and then an internal checkup, which is if you have been sexually active, then an internal checkup with uh, glove fingers, which is called bimanual examination, is done. It's a myth that it's a painful procedure, it's not. At worst, you can call it uh, mildly uncomfortable. Now once the examination has been done, there are few very common investigations which are a part of preventive health packages and they are, uh, if you are less than the age of 40, with the increasing rate of breast cancer in us, our society, uh, ultrasound scan of your uh, breast which is done annually would be a good idea. After the age of 40, mammograms are prescribed. If they come out fine, then obviously you are uh, you know, relieved and you can wait for another year till you get your uh, investigations repeated. Then comes, there are many conditions like which you might be already hearing of and many of your friends or maybe colleagues might be suffering from conditions like endometriosis, PCODs, fibroids, polyps, difficult, I mean heavy periods, irregular periods. So for all this, a very useful tool of knowing that how, uh, what is the condition, why you are having it, Ultrasound scan of your pelvis is a very good way of knowing it. 
So, ultrasound scan of abdomen is always a part of the preventive health checkup for females and that way we are keeping an eye that there is no already existing disease and if there is one then it is detected as soon as possible and then corrective measures can be taken for that. Then comes pap smear. The commonest so cancer in uh, women in India is cervical cancer. It's not breast cancer, it's cervical cancer. And unlike other cancers, it is highly preventable thing. We can detect it much before it has converted into cancer or even precancerous state. And for that, uh, the test is called pap smear, which is again done as I had explained earlier, just like the internal checkup is done. And again, it is a myth that it's a painful test. It is not at all painful. It is at worst again mildly uncomfortable and is finished in two minutes time. That is all that it takes you and that prevents you from such a major killer. So then again it is recommended to get it done. In India unfortunately we don't have any protocol that how frequently you should be having but as per the British protocol you can have it every three years from the age of 24 to uh, 50 and then every five years till the age of uh, 64 while in Australia and America they just say get it done annually. Lastly if uh, somebody has been menopausal or perimenopausal that is when the when is approaching the menopausal age which in India the average age is 45 and globally it is uh, 50. At around that time our bone tends to start get weaker and at that point of time there is a test which is called DEXA scan that is done and that prevents what is called osteoporosis or brittle bone disease. So if we know that the bones are getting weaker, then accordingly measures can be taken. So basically these are the common investigations which are part of preventive health checkups. And I would request you, encourage you, all of you that uh, go for uh, annual checkups so that you have a healthy, long and prosperous life. Good day.
Similarly, hernias. Mm. Most of the hernia, hernia are very common sickness. Most of the hernia are painless. If hernia has pain, it's serious pain. Nowadays, because of the preventive health checkups, we are not seeing the advanced complicated hernias. Because people come in early stage, they don't know that they have hernia in preventive health checkup. They are examined, they are diagnosed, test that. Then they are explained that hernia surgery is not a big surgery. Most of the hernia we do by laparoscopy or keyhole procedure. Where it's a matter of one day. Mm. Come in the morning, get operated, go next day home, and that too, without any incisional mark. It's done through few holes and there's no incisional mark. Not the suffering that they used to face earlier. Mm -hmm. So this is the another sickness where can easily be prevented to lead to serious complications. The main problem with hernia is that hernia can get strangulated, which is lethal. Even you say another country also, a lot of patients die after strangulation. But fortunately, thanks to preventive health care, we are seeing less and less cases of strangulation because they come early and they are cured. Similarly, galvanized stones. Galvanized stones also, if complicated,